All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. I just did a quick uh, unboxing video of a product I wasn't too familiar with. This is the Fitbit Flex down here. That's just the band. The actual fitness tracker is just, just this little guy. Uh, so we're going to be taking a look at setting it up. The only documentation they give you in the product box is a little you know, uh, piece of paper that says, to begin setup, go to uh, this website, Fitbit. Uh, dot com slash setup and so we're here it tells you to set up a device here's all their devices that are here the Fitbit flex uh, is the one that uh, we're going to be setting up today but I assume the setup process is the same for all of them you download the software okay we downloaded it uh, and then you know you install it wireless dongle is disconnected so I assume we'll have to <laughs> they want us to connect that uh, so over here in the packaging they do give you this little teeny tiny wireless dongle uh, I'm gonna plug that in we'll see what that does maybe there's a driver for that Let me plug that in real quick okay ah got a, got a driver over here USB composite device ah it says Fitbit base station so we're searching for some updates you know how Windows uh, driver updates are for that so that's probably going to take a minute uh, I guess we'll hold on that for a second um, I don't have any good jokes to tell um, actually I do have a good joke to tell um, I was on reddit the other this morning and um, somebody had uh, posted a joke on there and they said uh, how many divorced men does it take to screw in a light bulb and it says zero because the men normally never get to keep the house, uh, so I, maybe that's funny to some. If maybe if you're if you're divorced or not, that's maybe not so funny because you lost a house that way. But I thought it was pretty funny. So uh, if you haven't seen the video of the unboxing of this, that might be something uh, you want to go see first. If you've already got uh, your own Fitbit device and uh, maybe you just don't know how to set up the software, here we are. Uh, we downloaded our software. I installed it. When you uh, run the software here. Uh, it mentions up here that uh, my wireless dongle is disconnected, so uh, I just plugged that in. Uh, we're getting that that installed uh, right now. Oh, and it's it's installing its driver. It's ready to use. Uh, now we're updating. So that that screen automatically changed on me. I I didn't have anything to do with that. Um, so once once your uh, little wireless dongle is plugged in, this will start updating. Um, I guess I guess that's it. So I don't I don't really know how to turn this this little guy on. I'm not sure. Um, hopefully they will tell us uh, in a little minute. I just want to get this guy turned on uh, so that we can start start using it. I guess while we're killing time, uh, might not be a bad idea uh, to get our smartphones. And I am going to jump onto uh, the Play Store here, and I'll download the Fitbit app uh, so that you know. The, obviously, most of the devices nowadays don't give us information uh, in real time, uh, so we're going to go online, get the Fitbit app on the Play Store, and we'll set that up uh, at the at the same time. So uh, you just search Fitbit; it's really the only one that's there. Uh, you can tell it's got five million uh, different loads there. That's kind of the Fitbit uh, page that's on there. Let's see, uh, a couple reviews here. It's got pretty, pretty positive reviews, I think. I will install it. Uh, it has a lot of a lot of permissions. It needs your identity. It needs to know your contacts, location, SMS, photos, media, and files, camera, Bluetooth connection, and device ID and call information. So that seems like quite a bit of information for just a fitness tracker, uh, but we'll install it anyway. It's a uh, just under 19 megs. Uh, so while that's installing, we'll get we'll get back to this. <coughs> Looks like uh, uh, we're done. So uh, the uh, device update is done. We'll click set up a new Fitbit device. I am new to Fitbit, so I guess I'll have to create an account. Uh, I guess we'll uh, we'll sign in with uh, you know we'll sign in with Facebook. We'll sign in with Facebook. So there's that. And there's that. That's my password. Yep, that's my password. Okay, so it asks permission. That's fine. Whatever. Let's 
is create a Fitbit account. I'll just put in my email there. I'm sure I'm gonna get spammed for this. Because now you all know my email address. It's just a junk email address, so go ahead. Send me spam. I guess I will I will get the down here is uh keep me updated about Fitbit products. Whatever, we'll do that. Okay, my mail is gender. It's got my birthday already. It's got my name. I am five feet. We'll go seven inches. I think I'm seven inches. Weight. Buck sixty. Time zone. Gosh, it's too much personal information here. Now you're all, all gonna know our, how much I weigh and how much I live. Eastern time. Okie dokie. Click sign up. What kind of device do I have? I have the Fitbit Flex. Okay, meet your Fitbit Flex. This is the dongle uh, up here that we uh, just installed. We've got a wireless charging cable. If you have not seen the unboxing video, you might want to do that. Uh, and over here uh, is the device itself. <coughs> Set up your wireless tracker, remove it from the large wristband, uh, and I have do I have done that. That's what's down here in my hand. Uh, charge your flex. Uh, snap it into the tracker. Snap the tracker into the charger. Plug it in. Charge it until you see three lights, 60% charge. Oh boy! I wish they would have told me that earlier. I would have got this guy charged. So we'll put it in there. Seems to just slide in there. It doesn't really snap in or anything. And uh, plug it in right here. Okay, flashed four lights. I just have one light flashing here, so uh, that might hinder our progress. I only have one light, one light flashing, so it's definitely not 60% more charged. Uh, we'll try anyway. Okay, select your wristband that best fits you, uh, and I'm gonna do the uh, small wristband. I'll do that in a minute. Slide the tracker into the wristband. Okay, I guess we can do that. Put it on your wrist. Searching for flex. Make sure it is close to your wireless dongle. Now it is still plugged in. Okay, so we found the flex. Oh, I guess I was supposed to feel it buzz. Oh wow, that that did buzz. Wow, I mean that that was a I almost dropped. I, I was holding this thing in my hand when it when it it, it I felt the buzz and uh, man I almost dropped the thing. It was it was pretty powerful. All right, so it'll sync uh, what's ever within 20 feet of the wireless dongle. So that's I guess that's kind of nice. Okay, I can see my goals and all that good stuff. Uh, and we'll take a look at the dashboard. So the dashboard is is online based. Keep okay, charging. Uh, battery lasts about five days. Charge it. Remove it from the tracker uh, from the band and place it in the charger until all five lights are blinking. Uh, it sinks about 20 feet from the dongle. Um, you can also sync via your smartphone. Low uh, Bluetooth low energy 4.0. Uh, and then you can wear it should be placed inside which includes the wristband and worn on your non-dominant hand for best results I am gonna wear it on my dominant hand because I've got my uh, Samsung watch on the other one so if if I if I find that it's not good results I'll probably switch it goals talks about goals changing goals Tracking your sleep. Uh, sleep tracking can be turned on by tapping the top of the flex display area until you feel the mon uh, the motor vibrate. Okay, so you, I just I did that to put it in sleep mode. You just tap on it until it it uh, beeps again. So and then it turns into sleep mode. Uh, once you're in uh, sleep mode, the tracker will show two lights moving from side to side. When you're awake and you want to stop track sleeping, repeat the steps until you feel the motor vibrate. Uh, and we'll do that again. So I just gotta tap it. I uh, did not did not feel it. That was actually my phone. Okay, so we got that. Sleep. 
Okay. So it looks like that's that's basically set up. Uh, battery is low, and I know that because we didn't, haven't put a full charge in it. But this is uh, the basic gist of the software. It's an all online dashboard, and that's fine. I don't think there's any additional software that was started here. Of course, I want to do Windows updates. Um, did I actually restart yet? One important update. What the heck is that? Internet Explorer 9. Like, I need Internet Explorer 9. All right, so I believe that uh, is just about it, everybody. We've got uh, that set up. I'm going to give this a full charge. Uh, apparently, I've already got some calories burned or whatnot. Maybe that's just uh, some demo things. Uh, but right now, I'm in sleep mode, which is not tracking any steps or anything like that so we'll come back to it take a look at it and uh, if you got any questions you know how it goes let me know uh, in the bottom uh, of the comments section there uh, and we'll get we'll get going on that but that is how you set it up uh, the band seems to be working now I'm gonna put it on give it a full charge uh, and we'll go from there so uh, we'll talk to you later guys thank you